What is up my ninjas, Dark Frog Ninja here. Today is the day, as you can see, I have the live animal box in front of me. Let's open it up. Just picked it up. Sorry for the bad camera angle. Uh, I tried to do this quick because I want to make sure that these guys are okay. They should be fine, but it got a little cold. Oops, keep bumping the camera. Trying to make shallow cuts because I don't want to accidentally damage anything. Okay, so far so good. Don't think I might not. Oh, we'll see. All right, you got your cryo pack. Can't see it. Let's see what we have. We got. All right, there's nothing in there. And they are both in the same container. Makes this kind of easier. Put the knife down. Oh, maybe they're taped it. Maybe I do need the knife. Packaged really well. Um, I see them both. They look like they're fine probably shook up they don't know what's happening wow they are really wedged in there okay and they are out as the box good packaging job there we go the box is out now as you can see that there's one here and there's the other there um, these are again mint tree bliss they're probable females they look like females but they look fine and they're ready to go. Um, the good news is I can, looks like I'll be able to tell them apart. One of them looks like they have a little bit of black speckling on the top, which is kind of cool. This guy, or this lady here, and then this one here. So there we go. These are from Paul Pruitt. Uh, he owns um, Dart Frog Kingdom as well as Tropical Plant Kingdom. He specializes mostly in tropical plants, um, but he does have a Dart Frog collection. He's been in the hobby for six years. Um, these frogs originally are from Ferns Frogs. Uh, she does great work. Um, she goes to a lot of conventions. She does not ship, but she does a lot of conventions. Um, and you can order if you're willing to meet uh, her at a convention. You'll get good, great frogs. But these are from her, her line. Uh, my buddy Lisa hooked me up and told me Paul had these for sale because I've been looking for mints for a long time. And here, here you go, I found two adults that I will introduce to the, uh, my existing duo, but they're gonna go in the quarantine tank uh, for about a month and then I'll put them in with my other two. So hold on one second as I rearrange some things and then we'll get them in. All right, my ninjas, as you can see, I popped the top off and uh, I'm gonna give them a little bit of time let them hop out on their own. But again, this is their quarantine tank. This is only gonna be temporary, only for 30 days, as I make sure that they're health, fine and healthy. And then I will introduce them to Constantine and Zed, and hopefully I'll find names for these two. But like I said right now, I wanna let them come out at their own pace. They look good. This is the one I was talking about that has the black speckles kinda on them, if you can see that there. Yeah, that's the one that's got some speckling on the back, so it'll be a nice way to tell them apart. Uh, I might try to feed them today, I'm not sure. We'll see. And uh, the speckles, it looks like it's about ready to leave the container and start exploring. I need to miss this. I miss this about once a day for maybe about 10 seconds. It's, a, it's not a lot. It doesn't need a lot of moisture in there, as you can see. There's the humidity levels around 75 80 percent so it's not bad it's good for a good temporary holding tank but there they are like I said we'll see what they decide to do here shortly so I have one out or one's about to come out and the other is kind of still stunned as far as what's going on 
they look good. They look fairly healthy. They look fairly healthy. Uh, probably are hungry. Like I said, I'll give them a, probably an hour or so before I try feeding them, and uh, let them get settled in, and they'll see what happens. I was debating about not feeding them today, but you know they're terribles, so they definitely um, they definitely can eat. Oh, sorry about that. Looks like she jumped, tried to jump real high and she might have hit the top, um, but she's fine. She might see herself maybe. Uh, so there's one out. I might have to give this one a little bit of a nudge. We'll see. But uh, they look good. Oh, here we go. Now you realize that the top is off and you're able to come out. Come on. So I can remove that Tupperware. Come on out. I'll give you guys a nice little mist here, and then uh, that'll be it. And then we'll see if I can get them to eat today. But they look good. And they do look like they're female. They do fit that uh, female body type, but it's kind of hard to tell. Tree bliss. Up oh, and you're out. Cool. Um, as they don't really have any kind of dead giveaways outside of the calling, the dark patch, the dark patch in the throat for males. Um, and then the size difference, but they both look pretty big. Um, they're about 18 months old, and it can take up to two years for them to fully sexually mature, uh, and it could take up to two years for them to do e uh, to lay eggs, so I, I might have another uh, half a year to wait, but we'll see. I'm interested to see what they're going to do when Constantine starts calling here, because he's calling every day, and uh, we'll see. And then, <laughs> as you can see, the one's climbing and exploring, so that's pretty cool. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end it here and maybe I'll get a feeding video later if they decide they want to eat. Sorry about the reflection. I, this is a 10 gallon tank so I don't feel comfortable keeping the top open. Um, but I'm going to remove that container that's in there, maybe place some of that sphagnum moss and the uh, leaves that are in there in their vivarium and then I'm going to give them a quick mist. Let them settle in, watch them for a little while uh, and then maybe like I said try and offer them some food and uh, maybe I'll record that. We'll see. So. There you go. These are two pretty much adult mint phyllobates, or phyllobates, whichever way you want to say it, terribles mints that I will add to my existing group, and I'll be back to a, uh, a group of four. So there you go. This is Dart Frog Ninja. Wow, trying to get there. You are. This is Dart Frog Ninja. Saying, frog on.